The Very High Frequency Omni Range, or VOR system, provides navigation information by computing the bearing relative to a ground transmitter reference to magnetic north. The VOR signal is received by the dual VOR antenna located at the top of the vertical stabilizer fin. The signal is sent to the left and right VOR receivers located on shelf E6-1 in the aft equipment center. Each receiver front panel contains LED status indicators and a momentary self-test switch. VOR bearing information is calculated by the receivers and the data is sent to the RDMIs, the EFIS symbol generators, and the flight management computers. The receivers are tuned to the frequencies selected at the VOR control panels located on the center glare shield panel, P55. Each panel contains an inner and outer VOR frequency select knob, VOR frequency display window, tuning mode switch and enunciator, course select knob, and a course display window. VOR bearing information is displayed on the RDMIs. The EFIS symbol generators compute VOR deviation and to from information for display on the electronic horizontal situation indicators, EHSIs. On either RDMI, place the right or left VOR ADF selector in the VOR mode to cause the respective bearing pointer to indicate the VOR bearing. Bearing information is transmitted directly to the RDMIs from the VOR receivers. When flying a manually selected course to a VOR station, the frequency of the station and course are selected on the VOR control panel. The selected course is displayed in the course select window and on the EHSI. The EHSI is controlled from the Electronic Flight Instrument System, or EFIS, control panel. With the mode select switch in the full VOR mode, the EHSI will display the VOR course over the full compass rows. Also, VOR deviation, source, and to from information is displayed. This information is computed within the EFIS symbol generators. Placing the EFIS select switch in the expanded VOR mode will display the same information over a partial compass rose. When the full or expanded VOR or ILS mode is selected on the EFIS control panel, the VOR tuning mode switch enunciator is in the manual mode and the VOR frequency is manually selected. When the EFIS mode select switch is placed in the map or plan mode, the computed bearing is transmitted to the flight management computers, which use this information for secondary navigational computations. In such an event, the VOR tuning mode switch enunciator will change to the auto-tune mode and the VOR frequency will be selected by the left flight management computer, FMC. The automatically tuned frequency is displayed in the frequency display window. Automatic tuning may be overridden by pressing the VOR tuning mode switch enunciator. The VOR frequency can now be manually selected. The selected VOR ground station can be identified through the flight interphone system by selecting the appropriate left or right VOR select switch on the flight interphone audio select panel. This concludes the module on the very high frequency omni-range system operation and component location.